Hey guys, Cultus Commander here. Today I'm going to be making a video about the lore of my character, Stan Stanson. Most of this is made up. Actually, all of it's made up, but like some of it is based off of the games that I've actually created him in, and up some of it is just I needed a filler. So it's it, yeah, that's what that is. All right, so let's begin uh, with his great great grandfather. Uh, he lived during the 1800s, uh, and, uh, he got shot dead by the police. I uh, see the reason was he was an outlaw, serial killer, but that's not actually why he got killed. He got killed because he insulted the cop's mother. He, he was, he was not a nice, he was not a nice All right, man. Alright, that's enough fucking about. So now we do this for real. But, uh, so, his, uh, son... Who is Stan Stanson's great great grandfather? Uh, his great grandfather uh, continued that outlaw life until settling down, having a son. And like he, uh, is, he was, his family was originally from Germany. Battle Royale. But he, Guess but his, on his great grand, his great great grandfather moving. moved to uh, America, and then he moved back to Germany and he served in World War II but uh but yeah so he was killed by an American soldier while in the line of duty the sad thing is that that man who killed him used to be his neighbor whenever he was growing up and then but uh through uh <clears throat> back as a zombie but uh but the guy who killed him earlier came through and killed him again as a zombie and uh nothing really happens with the zombies though in the story you just after the bombing of japan and world war ii ending uh they just are completely forgotten about so his his son and wife, well his wife's pregnant with his son at the time. They go back to uh, America. All right, lads, let's get it done. And his son becomes a true patriot. He serves in the Cold War. Uh, he serves actually. I don't know how about that. No, he served in the Cold War, but I don't know about him being a true patriot. Definitely wasn't the best at his job or being a patriot. But he did end up ending the Cold War in this universe. So, there's that. Um, and then, he, that, that, that man who was Stan's grandfather had a son named, uh, Jim. And... Jim, uh, actually had okay, a normal life. He wasn't a soldier. He wasn't a murderer. He wasn't a anything. He just was a family man. A family guy, if you know. But he could play his life. I'm explaining the joke because it's funny that way. Whenever I, I ironically make a joke and then ironically explain it. Like, if it... Like, if I was actually explaining it, like, because I figured someone didn't understand the joke, then that wouldn't be fun. Okay, but, um, so, uh, yeah, so Jim has three kids, uh, with his wife, Suzanne. Um, one of the kids has a really weird name. His name is, uh, Skinny Man. And, uh, this is, uh, Stan's brother. And, uh, <clears throat> see, the reason for that is because he was born early, and, uh, his dad had a sick sense of humor, and he was really skinny and small, so they named him Skinny Man, because his dad had a sick sense of humor. For being a normal family guy, he was a weirdo. And then, uh, 
So Stan has loads of children. Like the actual main Stan. And on the side, he and his brother uh, do crimes, pull heists, you know, normal chill stuff, normal family activities. Um, and then Stan has a, uh, or he gets, he gets married to a girl named Catalina Jones. And he has three kids with her. Which, it's, it's weird. The kids are named after his siblings and himself. So her family just does not get representation in that. And then, so his son signs up for a cloning program, and uh, the one the clone gets sent to live in Boston, where whereas the original son uh, lives in uh, West Virginia. They both get sent into a vault, but the. Uh, the clone had a more successful life than the original Stan's son before uh, going into the vault. The clone became a uh, soldier, a veteran. He had a wife, he had a son. Fight's ready. But his wife got killed and Get his son got fight. kidnapped. Next. So is that. And then he was frozen for 200 years. And then the other Stan got also sucked into a vault and then created a cult. And, uh, Still standing. Yeah. But uh, so there, there's an alternate timeline where if you lose, you're um, where uh, sort them out or his the grandfather objective. didn't die in the police shootout, and the cop actually did. And uh, looking a little worse for wear. The You're cop, back to base. Uh, so he comes he home, he's actually pregnant with the cop's child, and not his, and he was supposed to die. So he actually ends up murdering her. And uh, so in this new timeline, the quote-unquote timeline gods were angry because that child was supposed to be born and be an important figure throughout history, his entire family line. Well, that kid's family line, not this man's family line. Uh, and that man was supposed to die. But, uh, so they caught, they, they plunged the universe into darkness, and this version of Stan's great-great-grandfather had a son with a lizard person. Don't, don't question how that works, it's just it's canon, it happened. Uh, and the son was supposed to be, like, save the universe, but he got corrupted by a vampire lord and became one himself. And he had a child with a werewolf to bring peace between the, ch the werewolves and the vampires. And the son became the immortal savior of this universe well, until he got really bored. He, he got extremely up. bored. So bored, in fact, he became the ultimate evil. And he created an entire planet with really weird things living on it. Like, there were talking dogs, talking cats, living food, like, host people, uh, living clothing items, and, like, West Virginian folklore, like, Mothman. Yeah, it was weird. And then there was this one guy, Underwear Man. Most of the people have their what they are in their name like whatever creature or person they are that's in their name so yeah I'm a man uh, was born on this strange planet and uh, he and his friends became symbols of hope for the people of the planet and they defeated Stan ending the reign of terror that he brought to their planet but in the process they died Yeah, that's the that's the lore of this strange, strange character. Battle but in Royale. real life, okay. Get 
what, what I actually did was just, I was playing Fallout 76, and I was like, I want to make the ugliest Enemy character possible. And then I started with Stan. I made him look so much better as I kept playing the game, but he started out, like, incredibly ugly. Like, he's not even recognizable to what he is now. Like, they aren't even, they don't even look like the same person. And then I started creating him in more and more games, and now he's expanded to, uh, I made a lore video on it. So, yeah, I've definitely lost my mind. Well, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, and, uh, Be advised, see you enemy all next team time. Is tracking your location. I'm actually going to continue playing the rest of this match in Warzone. It's going to be on stream, but I mean, not stream, on the video. But I'm not going to talk during it. So if you want to continue watching that, you can. But if not, feel free to leave the video now. Targets are up. Get to work. to earn redeployment. Listen up, soldier. Win here and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done. Sort them out or capture the objective. Looking a little worse for wear. You're heading back to base. Learn from the lock. Failure's a proper teacher.